So thank you for the opportunity to testify to you today on behalf of the American Traffic Safety Services Association. ATSA represents the manufacturers and installers of roadway safety infrastructure devices, such as guardrail and cable barriers, traffic signs, pavement markings, and, and work zone safety devices, among others. Our mission is to advance roadway safety and reduce fatalities and serious injuries to zero. <clears throat> Professionally, I've worked for K&G Striping for 34 years, a Missouri contractor who installs pavement markings, traffic signs, and traffic control. It's appropriate to be here discussing roadway safety during National Work Zone Awareness Week as we honor those who lost their lives in work zones around the country, including nearly 800 the previous year. My first project on an interstate quickly taught me the importance of roadway safety. While striping in a work zone on I-70 near Lawrence, Kansas, I looked up to see a semi-truck knocking over cones and headed right at me. I only had enough time to take one step back before I was blown my, off my feet by the wind. <clears throat> I was fortunate, excuse me, I was fortunate to go home that day to my family, but tragically, many others aren't so lucky. Please slow down in work zones. Mitigating driver behavior is a perennial challenge for transportation leaders. And knowing this, the roadway safety infrastructure industry has innovated and deployed cost-effective countermeasures to combat negative driver behavior. Here are a few examples. Wrong-way driving crashes are often catastrophic when they occur, especially on highways and high-speed roads. Intelligent transportation systems, in conjunction with signage, combat wrong-way driving. These systems detect a wrong-way driver and, and, and inform both the driver and law enforcement about the incident, so law enforcement may intercede within minutes. Systematic devices like barriers are critically important to the safety ecosystem of a roadway network. This is particularly true in rural areas where 30% of total vehicle miles travel occur, yet 50% of roadway fatalities occur. The Minnesota Department of Transportation installed cable median barrier along 150 miles of road. In the three years prior, there were 19 fatal cross-median crashes. In the three years following, there were zero. We know that wider pavement markings have positive safety benefits, especially for older drivers. They also prove beneficial for machine-driven vehicles. Under adverse conditions, wider markings consistently improve machine vision detection. In 2017, nearly 6,000 pedestrians were killed in roadway crashes, and the previous year saw 840 cyclists killed. There are roadway safety infrastructure solutions that help protect both vulnerable users and motorists, including dedicated bike lanes with green pavement markings and delineators, as well as innovative retro-reflective crosswalks for pedestrians. 37,130 men, women, and children being killed on U.S. roads annually. We cannot allow safety to ever become an afterthought. None of these safety priorities can be achieved without a solvent, robustly funded highway trust fund. ATSA strongly supports increasing user fees to address the long-term viability of the trust fund. This includes ind indexing gas and diesel taxes and eventually moving towards a vehicle miles traveled user fee system. The Highway Safety Improvement Program, or HSIP, is the sole federal highway program focused on roadway safety. States who are responsible for the safety on public roads are able to use these funds for eligible activities. However, states are allowed to transfer up to 50% of their HSIP allocations. Given the importance of safety, ATSA calls on Congress to eliminate, or at very least, reduce the percentage of funds that can be transferred out of HSIP. Congress has previously ensured that funds from HSIP can only be used for roadway safety infrastructure projects. We urge the committee to continue this language as part of the FAST Act reauthorization and infrastructure packages. ATSA calls on Congress to double the size of Highway Safety Improvement Program to at least 10% of the overall core federal aid highway program so we can aggressively combat fatalities and serious injuries on U.S. roads and expand the use of cost-effective, life-saving roadway infrastructure countermeasures. In conclusion, 
We mustn't let safety slip as our top priority. Roadway safety infrastructure and the highway safety improvement program are key pieces of the safety puzzle and ATSA looks forward to working with the subcommittee to reduce fatalities and serious injuries on our nation's roads to zero. Thank you for the opportunity and I look forward to any questions. And thank you for your testimony.